So thanks very much. Um, I'm Terry Ong, uh, and I'm working at the Paris Herbarium, uh, and I'm going to talk about this uh, project. Do our project delimitation display a continued legacy of colonialism? And towards an independent flower of Cambodia, and I would like to thank my dad for uh, the translation in Cambodian uh, of this title. Um, is it? Oh, next slide, please. Thank you. I will just introduce myself a little bit. Um, next slide. So I'm a biogeographer. I'm working on Southeast Asia region at large. And the region has a very high uh, geological activity, which has shaped the distribution of taxa over the region. And the biogeography is still largely debated right now. Next slide, please. Next slide, please. <laughs> Oh, no, no, sorry, too far, oh, one way back. Yeah, thanks. So I'm also a project manager uh, at Paris Herbarium, and I've been involved in Tadwick since 2018, and I'm serving now as a secretary since 2021. Next slide. And most of all, I was born in Cambodia a long, long time ago, and I'm very interested in this project. Next slide. Um, a little bit of context, uh, geo uh, geographic and historical context for Cambodia. So Cambodia is known uh, for this beautiful archaeological site of Angkor Wat, uh, located uh, in Siem Reap. And Cambodia is in uh, South Southeast Asia mainland, and it's surrounded by Thailand, Laos, and Vietnam. But also, um, next slide, please. Cambodia is sadly known for having been the scene of one of the biggest genocides in the world. The civil war has started in 1967 and ended in 1975 uh, when the Khmer Rouge entered into the country and, to, and took uh, Phnom Penh. This um, communist regime uh, has exterminated a quarter of the population in four years, which is about two millions of people. And in 79, the Vietnamese army uh, finally fought out the Khmer Rouge out of the country and occupied the country until uh, 1989. And Cambodia found a little peace with the Paris Peace Agreement in 1991 when they put the country under the supervision of the United Nations. Next slide, please. So as a consequence, the population is very young. Uh, we have about... Um, 15 millions of people, and among that, um, um, 31 are under 14 years old, and 65 are between 14 and 64. Next slide, please. Thank you. Cambodia is known for being a hotspot of biodiversity with a beautiful um, biodiversity richness. Um, next slide, please. So why am I asking this question? Do our project delimitations display a continued legacy of colonialism? Because Cambodia has been part of French Indochina. Next, next slide, please. Has been part of French Indochina since uh, 1862 when he, he, it became a protectorate along with Laos and one Chinese and three Vietnamese territory. Next slide, please. Um, and we got our independence in 1953, uh, uh, after having been just an associate uh, state. A monument has been um, inaugurated in 1962 on the 9th of November, which is celebrated now as our Independence Day. Next slide, please. The other country got their independence a year later in 1954. Next slide, please. Sorry, I'm putting a lot of slides. <laughs> so what's, what is the link with the flora of Cambodia now? Um, well, because the flora of Cambodia doesn't exist per se, actually. Um, this long presence of, French, of France uh, in Cambodia has had a very huge impact on the collection 
of Cambodian biodiversity, but also the other country in, in Indochina. And it has first been published as the Flore Générale de l'Indochine in 1907, and it has been published until 1951 uh, by French publishers in French. And it has, this series has been revived in 1960. Um, uh, thanks to the Museum National Histoire Naturelle, and it's known as the Flore du Cambodge, du Laos, et du Vietnam. And it's now jointly edited with the Royal Bot Botanical Garden of Edinburgh since 2014 as the Flore of Cambodia, Laos, and Vietnam, and it's edited in English, which means that for Cambodian people, there is no knowledge available written in Khmer, its own language. Next slide, please. Two major events called for an independent flora. First, the war had had a dramatic impact on the biodiversity, as it has been shown here in, in the paper of Ziska and collaborators in 2021. You can see here in the graph, I have extracted their graph, and you can see, well, maybe you cannot, but um, between 1975 and uh, 1990, uh, we have observed a, a an, a very big increase of the number of the species occurrences um, recorded for, from Cambodia, which corresponds to the Khmer Rouge regime and the Vietnamese occupation. And the second point is that, that we are facing a massive deforestation right now. The uh, NGO, uh, Global Forest Watch, uh, stating that 52% of the total tree coverage has been lost since 20 years. So how are we going to uh, build this floor of Cambodia. First, we, are, you, we will use the huge collection we have at Paris Herbarium. We know about 500 to 600,000 specimens are coming from Indochina, but the first work would be to correctly assign the geographic to those specimens because it's not yet done. We cannot distinguish a specimen per the country. Um, oh, sorry, it was the next time. Yeah. Um, next slide, please. And we will use open databases uh, and uh, aggregator like JBIF and uh, Wordflow Online, and also the uh, the database uh, online um, by the museum, which we have about eight thousand and five hundred specimens digitized from Cambodia. Of course, you know. Ne next slide, please. Of course, you know that network is very important, and we have the chance to work with uh, Cambodian collaborators who are running the Royal University of Campagne's herbarium. This herbarium has been created thanks to a French uh, project which is called Sud Expert Plant from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, uh, the ERD, and the museum. Uh, and several people have been in involved in that. In the creation of uh, that herbarium, and in particular, Dr. Sovan Molly Hull, which is a, a, a associate um, professor at the Paris uh, Museum. And we will also work with a, a network dedicated to protect orchid, uh, wild orchid in Cambodia, which is called Orchid Cambodia. And we will also use uh, published material that we have, and uh, some are in Khmer. Uh, yeah. Um, sorry, next slide, please. Yeah, so some of in Khmer already. Next slide, please. So what we'd like to do as a short-term goal is to produce a checklist for vascular plant of Cambodia in, in Khmer, French, and English. And we will follow the example of what has been done for Lao country. And next slide, please. We would like to make it available online through a dedicated platform. Next slide. I'm almost um so my take home message now next slide please I think we really should be responsible aware and cautious when we define um a, our project and especially when there has been a very strong colonial history next slide please and we should think about decolonizing our uh, object in our museum and uh, our natural history museum. It has started with Paris uh, herbarium since some of the some of, some of the specimens have been sent back to Phnom Penh's herbarium. But as you may imagine, the types are still uh, in Paris uh, herbarium. 
Next slide, please. And this project is aligned with the care principle since we would like to provide uh, knowledge about, bio, about Cambodia's biodiversity in Khmer and it will foster the collaboration and sharing of knowledge and expertise with Cambodian people. Uh, we have a memorandum of understanding that has been signed last year between the museum and, and the Ministry of Environment in Cambodia. Um, and um, next slide, please. I cannot finish that talk with, without thinking about William. William has been a very good friend. He's dear to my heart, and I will miss you very much. And with that, next slide. I will thank you. Kim Sam Okun. Good. Is this on? Hello. Hello. Yes. Okay. Good. Um, Thierry, I um, I'm curious if. This might be a problem that's like way far down the road, but have you given any consideration to um, what you might do if you encounter sort of um, provincial differences in names um, for certain um, for certain species? Um, and the, I ask because in Louisiana, where I, where I live, yeah. um, the, in Cajun French, you might go to one town and yeah. they call a fish, a plant, whatever, by this name, and then there's a variation on it in, you know, like not even an hour down the road. Yeah. Um, is that a concern or is that way, way, way too far down the road? That's way too far down the road. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> but I keep that in mind. Other questions? Any online? Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Terry. Okay, so we still weren't able to raise Mohammed or Anya Sunline, correct? They're not hearing me. Steve, Mohammed, you, you haven't seen either of them. No, I, okay. I, 